wonderful day. Today's story is going to be based on how to cut a Mazi Bubu captain top with two holes at the side, which I have done the long part of it earlier. So this is the short aspect of it, which is the top. So in this tutorial, I'm going to show you how to cut and how to sew it as well. So stay tuned. So the fabric for this tie is a satin newspaper fabric. So now I'm going to start with the cutting. The measurements are as follows. For the length, I'm using 30 for the length. And I'm taking it with 2 inches of a black plain chiffon. I'm taping it all one with the 2 inches of that. Now I'm going to start with the cutting. So folding this into four. I'm using one yard of this fabric, so I'm folding this into four. So this is into four. You can see this is into two, and that is into four. With this, I'm going to start with the length. So I'm using 20. I said I'm using 30. So with the taping, it will give us 30. So using 39 for the main cutting is 29. So I want to determine my ammo. I'll determine my ammo here using 8 for the ammo. So then the waist, I'm using 15 for my waist. So from this waist now, I'm going to measure the waist. I'm using 40. So 10 into 4. 10 into 4 gives us 40. For the waist side. So from this waist, I'm going to make an O. This is where the O will be. So, placing my three here. So, I'm taking three up. I'm using seven for the down part. So, from here now, I'm going to make a land. Because I slant it to bring out the shape. So this is how it's going to be. I slant it to bring out the shape for the hip side. So you can say to make it round like this or slant it like this. So you can make it any style of your choice. You can try to bring it up more wider than this or bring it down to be more lower than this. It can be more bigger than this. It depends on how you want it. So this is how I want it to be. So from here now, here I'm going to make a straight line. Now this is my 29 inches. I'm going to make a straight line like this. So I don't want this edge to be showing. So I want it to be a round curve. So from here, I'm going to make a round curve. You can see it. So you can leave it like this if you want the edge to be like a rectangle. But I want my own to be like a curve. So not like this. So let me measure. Let me show you the measurement. So I'm taking it seven. I'm running from this particular line here up to several inches here. So you can make it, you can make it like a nine ten if is uh, depend on how you want it to be. So I cannot cut it out now. So starting from here.
So this is it. So I'm going to cut out this particular hole. the O. I'm going to stitch out. So cutting, so cutting out the neck is an is a tough neck. So the wideness of the neck here, yeah, I'm using two and a half for the wideness. And for the deepness, I'm using two. So I'm going to cut it out now. Then cut out the shoulder. So is how it's going to be. This is the three inches that I'm going to use for the taping all round. So stay tuned for the sewing. Welcome back to the sewing section. So now I'm going to start with the shoulder first. So this is the front of the fabric. This is also the front, so I'm going to place the two fronts together, then catch the shoulder. Yes, I'm done with the fourth side now. So, so it to make the second side. So you have to make it equal. Like this. And this is the actual place. And you catch it as well. In this aspect, you have to notch to know where you are starting from and where you are going to end it. Just a little notch, like this. So after when you've notched like this, you turn it to the front. So I've turned it to the front like this. This is where I notched. So this is how you're going to do it. You can see. This is the back of this. And this is also the back of this. You're going to face them together. This is the front front. You can see the way I do it. Let me do it again for you to see. 
this very notch at the front so after that you open it like this you hold this place then like this you hold this place too you face it to each other like this then you start stitching And you sew it round. You can see the way I'm taking the two together. You can see it. I'm taking the two together. I'm back to the starting point. So I'm going to turn it. Before turning it, I want to stick it. So it will turn very well if I want to turn it because I'm notching it out. So this is it now. Can you see? So by the time I high on it, every part will come out. So I'm going to. So this is for the second part. This is where I notch. The same thing applicable to this. You face it like this. You bring the other side here too. Place them together. Then you stitch.
So back to the starting point. Then you stitch. So I will notch it before I turn it over. I'll turn it. So by the time I press it with an out iron, it will be more neater than this. You can see. You can see it. So this is going to so so it will make the taping is two inches. So I'm using this fabric for the taping. Folding it into two, starting from the down part here. Now the first part, so I'll do the same thing to the second part too. So now I'm done with the taping. So I have wound it with two inches of a black material. You can see, so it will make the neck area. So for the neck now, I'm going to determine the zip line, which I'm going to put at the back or front. It's either two. Either you want it to be at the back or you want it to be at the front. So now I'm going to cut out a straight line now to determine where my zip is going to be. You can decide to cut it right from the start, you are cutting the side, or you cut it out here. Is any of the two. So depend on how you want it to be. It's okay. If I take the measurement now, it won't be too long. So just six 
So I want it to be seven. So I'll go down a little bit like this. Then I'll not turn it to the back. Then I'll hold it like a dart, like this. Then I will take it down like this, like a dart. You can see? You can see it. So, using these two inches for the standing collar, so I'm going to fold it into two like this. And I said, it has a is a dot neck after that I'm going to put the zip now. So I want to place my zip now using invisible zip.
then I'll stitch the second one too. So this is it. You can see it. So if you really want to know how I fix this in videos very well, you can watch a tutorial based on that or my video. I have a tutorial based on how to how to fix an invisible zip. So this is the neck and this is the front, this is the back. You can decide to make this space be your front or yeah. So you can see it. So I'm going to wear it for you to see now. So welcome back. Here is the finished work so far. You can see the O, the two O. You can see it. You can see the eye neck side I said. an eye neck boo tap turn. You can see the front, you can see the two inches taping, and you can see the back with the zip. So I'm using this belt for it. You can set the foot belt. So thank you for watching. Don't forget to subscribe to my channel. Like and share. Bye.